another fun little character drawing. Here we go. This is what we're going to be drawing today. Isn't she adorable? Cute little angel girl with her little teddy bear. And uh, I can see this on the front of a card on the inside. I'm missing you. Here she's got her little tear and, and her little sad face. So we're going to have some fun with this. And all you're going to need is a piece of paper. This I have, um, I'm using a watercolor mixed media paper, 300 pound. Um, but you can use any paper. You can use cardstock, you can just use a regular piece of printer paper, whatever you have on hand. We're just going to have fun and play. And then the only other thing that you need is a number two or two, um, this one's a two HB soft. I do like a softer pencil. It um, helps you shade and um, is a little bit easier to work with for me. But any pencil will work. So let's get started. All right, welcome to another character tutorial a demo. So grab your paper. Um, doesn't matter what paper you want to use. I'm using a um, the cardstock um, multimedia watercolor paper. But again, whatever paper, cut it to your size. And then, because I want to make this into a card, I've gone ahead and pre-measured, and you can do that too by just measuring the length and then I've come in halfway on both sides and then I've taken and drawn a little line down it because this card is going to fold over and so I wanted to be able to um, measure it ahead of time. So this little cute little angel gal is just adorable and let's get started. All you need is your number two. I have a 2HB soft pencil um, but any pencil will work and uh, we'll just get started. So to begin with, we need a little head. And again, don't get caught up. Look at how totally random this is. It's not a perfect shape. It's just a sketch of it. Every piece of art you make, it's not pretty usually in the very beginning. So don't panic or you're gonna be okay, trust me. And then we need to give her her cute little body. So she's got kind of her little uh, hip kicked out and her little tummy is there because she's a sweet little girl. So we're going to just uh, make a little arched right about like that. Okay. And we're going to give her her little foot space there. And then we're going to come and we're going to just bring that in kind of a bit to give her a little swag. And then we're going to give her little, her little foot again. And we're gonna give her her little legs to be defined. Super simple, right? So we're just sketching. Feel free to stop, erase if you need to. This is not um, exact by any means. We're gonna give her a cute little arm. And little kids, uh, you, you want things kind of compact and um, a little bit over dramatized on their bodies because it just makes it cuter you don't want some thin little arm and that's way cuter right so we're going to do that and then we're just going to give her a cute little finger um nothing nothing uh what do you want to call it nothing that is um, detailed but just a cute little way to show that she's got her little finger out all right <clears throat> she looks like she's got some sass already i think <laughs> Let's put her little PJs, you know, the little button PJs that are so cute. I love that. And then we've got the shape of her head. Kind of the rule of thumb with head and hair is you always want to go outside the bounds of the actual circle of the head. Because if you look at a human face, your hair always extends back out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give her a little part here and see how I've come out across beyond her head and then we're going to come down. I'm going to stop there because we're going to draw in that little uh, cute little teddy bear and then we're going to come over here and we're going to bring that all the way down here okay these are very very uh, sketchy right then the face always, or the hair rather, always comes over the face. You're not going to have hair that just starts along the face. 
it's going to come down into the face somewhat. So we're going to just draw in her little hairline like so and give her a cute little ear. All right. Now let's work on her eyes. Again, with faces, I want her little her little head to kind of be looking down but her eyes up. So I'm going to um, put in a little cross to give me uh, some perspective of where I want her eyes and, and what not to be. And we want these big droopy eyes. These big, big eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's got her finger wrapped around somebody. <laughs> All right, let's give her a little eyebrow. And then she's going to be looking up. So we're going to give her that looking up. And we're going to leave a couple little reflector light, light shining um, in her eyes. And um, her cute little button nose, yes. And then she's going to have a cute little uh, mouth. Doesn't look like much right now, does it? You're going, whoa, what is happening with this picture? Trust me, um, this is going to be adorable. Let's add in a nice little sized teddy bear or dolly or whatever uh, you want to call her. And we're just going to bring her little body shape down and a couple little feet. Okay. Uh, she got her little hand right here. And let's give this little dolly some ear, some floppy ears. Okay. And a couple little eyes and her eyebrows and her little face. All right. It's already shaping up. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So let's now, let's start to erase a few things so we can kind of get a better perspective of what this is looking like. So we're going to erase the lines that we don't want anymore. Obviously on her hair, we want to get rid of the shape of her skull. Okay, of the round shape. So that's going away. Oh, already looking more like a little girl, right? Now I'm going to get rid of some of those in-betweens. Again, you can use a little artist um, eraser or if you've just got the end of your pencil, that works great too. Whatever you have available, don't stress out about it. Trust me, it's, it'll all work out in the end. So here we have her, and we're going to give her face then a little more definition. And you know what? I'm thinking I want to move her little nose and stuff down. That's the great thing about this. You can change up, you can... Um, make adjustments and make it how you want to. I'm gonna bring her nose and her little mouth down a little bit. Okay, so let's get started by darkening in her, the outer um, edges of her eyes and I'm making them just a little bit bigger than they even were. All right, now let's go for her pupils and we'll get those and then we can shade that in and I'm going to keep the uh, little reflecting areas of her eyes white. I'm not going to color those spots in. And I'm going to do the same over here on this one. Okay, that's already looking better, right? And let's give her nose a little bit more, uh, the bottom of her head. And we're going to give her a little collar to her PJs. And then we're gonna start by coming in and giving her PJs some definition. See how I'm just sketching? I'm not doing these one continuous line. You don't need to do that. When you're doing character drawings, it looks cuter if it's not all perfect. It really does in the long run. Let's get her little hand out there. How fun! And now I'm going to work on her little dolly and give the dolly his head a little bit more definition and her little hand. Okay, let's do her little dolly's face. All right. And then when it comes to hair, you always want to come down with the hair. 
However the hair is flowing, if it's a bun, you'd obviously stroke upwards, but this is a long, long hair. So we're gonna come down with the strokes. And we're just gonna And we're just gonna make this a little more dramatic back here. All right. And maybe give some darker shading there. All right, let's come on the other side. This side we're gonna, uh, that side's gonna be just kind of back behind her, so we're not even gonna worry about the rest of it. All right, and let's give her some cute little lashes. I think she needs dramatic lashes because she's a cute cutie pie. All right, let's get her little PJs and let's give her a little something to walk on. Oh my gosh, we cannot forget this cute little halo because she does look like a little angel, doesn't she? <laughs> I love her. All right, so let's just give her this little this little halo, shall we? There we go. And now I can come in if I want, and I can erase anything extra that I want to get rid of, any other little scratch marks. But for me, with a little character drawing, I don't want to get rid of all those because I think it's cute having extra little marks in there. It just shows that you're just sketching her out, and it's a whimsical little girl, and you just are having fun. And that's the whole goal with this. So there we have it. <clears throat> now I'm gonna make it into a card. And like I told you, I already had this uh, measured. And if I, was, if I was doing a card that I was actually gonna send and not just a demonstration, this would be on the opposite side of the card. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you. You can use anything, whether it be the end of a, a fork or whatever, but I've got this little tool that's just gonna score this. It just makes it a little easier to fold your paper. Um, but you can use anything. Don't feel like um, that you can't do it. Or you can just fold it. You don't even have to use anything, honestly. Okay, it's a little bit wonky. Um, but again, no worries because I'll go back in and trim that up. It won't be a problem. And see, that is what I'm talking about. Nothing is perfect in art, and you don't have to be either in order to be successful and have fun with it because it truly is one-of-a-kind pieces. So here we have her, and on the inside, hmm, what shall we write? If this was a card I was sending, I think I would put something like, um, your little angel loves you. Let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna do just block lettering again. And maybe some script, your little angel. Oh, let's do some script again. Loves you. I'm telling you, if I got this in the mail from a little um, little somebody, I would feel really like it was a treasure. So to make it a little more dimensional, we're gonna just highlight down on the down strokes. So making the down strokes thicker always brings it up off the page. It's kind of like a little calligraphy. So this would be up, this would be down, this would be up, here we go, down, up and down, up and down. See how simple that is and what, what a difference it makes, right? Up and down, up and down. And you can just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. None of this is perfect, trust me. Your little angel. And let's do the same with loves. Up on the L and down. I feel like I'm doing an exercise class. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> well, this is an exercise class, actually. It's an exercise in art. So um, let's see, this would be the down. 
and up, over and down, and up, and down, and up and down. That one kind of got a little messed up, but that's okay. And then up and down. All right, I hope you had fun. Don't get discouraged because art is like anything. It's like a muscle. When you practice, it gets stronger and better. So I hope you had fun making your cute little angel. Have a great day.